Okay, hey, it's Mega here, and it's, uh, I think it's a November 10th, 2020, all right, and I'm doing a vlog on the Black Widow Gallant Vera 4, which is behind the bushes over there. <laughs> yeah, let's go take a look at it. But anyway, um, so what I got going on today is uh, we're going to tow the car into my driveway, okay? Um, now, Hades and Mega had thought that, uh, I, okay, so the car has been there for a month, okay? Uh, and we're going to tow the car right where my Eclipse is parked right now. So that's why I have it here, so I can tell the tow truck guy, hey, I need you to park it in this driveway just like this, but the other way around. Okay, so so there's the Black Widow Gallant VR4. So what happened was uh, State Farm uh, said it was a total loss. They didn't want to fix my car. They said my car is worth garbage, $2,000, $3,000, and we don't want to, um, you know, we don't want to fix it. We um, we broke your car, Merlin, so we're not gonna, but we're not gonna fix it. So so screw you, pretty much. That's what uh, that's what State Farm said. <laughs> okay. So here it is. Black Widow Gallant Vera 4 hasn't moved since then. I don't even know if it starts. Um, I don't know uh, the extent of the damage other than what I can see right now. You know, I have to get the wheels off and all that stuff. So it's still been propped up on the curb the whole month. Um, it's been here for like a whole month like this. Okay. Now, uh, I'm not going to lie. I, uh, I've been, uh, I've been, I was out of town for a while. Oh, there's a tow truck. There's a tow truck right there. Okay. Let's go. Let's go do the tow right here. Okay. There's the tow truck guy, man. He's going to go tow my car. Okay. I'll tell you the story about why I got to tow it later. So and he's going to go tow my car right here. Let me go talk to him real quick. Hello. Hi. Well, it's gonna be like the easiest tow ever. I just need you to tow this car into my driveway. That's it. <sighs> that's it. That's all. It, it, it doesn't move right now, so that's, that's why I can't. Do you drive? Yeah, it's, it's not. It's not driving. I know, but... Alright, watch this. This this guy is going to try to get the Black Widow Gallant into my driveway right here. So they needed to get a smaller tow truck. That big one can't do it. Too big. So basically they're just going to hoist it up from the back and then they're going to uh, they're going to roll it into my driveway. There we go. It's pretty amazing what these guys could do with their tow trucks. It's pretty cool. So how does this thingy work now? It's like a got like a fork thing on it Oh, maybe he's just going to pull it from the side. I think they're gonna put, they're gonna hoist it up from one side, I guess. I don't know. Well, let's let's see this. This looks interesting. Was cool. <laughs> Bam! 
The thing is like magic. <laughs> yeah, right, right in the middle. Right in the middle. Yeah, right. Right, like right here, right on the right side of this crack right here. See, I can do that. <laughs> there we go. He's gonna, he's gonna back it. In, he's gonna back it in the driveway. I hope it's okay to do that. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's okay as long as it's a neutral or something. There it is, man. Uh, I don't hope the bumper doesn't scrape. Ooh. Oh, just barely. Oh, that's good. Man, it's a good thing that car isn't any lower than that. <laughs> wow, look at that. He's good. <laughs> I couldn't back a trailer in like that. Up, up, up. I need a bit. Up. Up. Oh, the wheel's dragging. There we go. Can, can you get it higher? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Maybe just like three more feet? Okay, that's good. Maybe, maybe just a little bit back, a little bit. Huh? Just, just a little bit more back. Huh? Yeah. A little bit more. That's good. All right. Thanks. Man, look at that. That was awesome. <laughs> it's got like this some super claw grabber thing. All right, thanks a lot, tow truck dudes. Triple A saved me. So, yeah, um, there they go. They had to call a smaller tow truck because because uh, they couldn't um, they couldn't put it in the driveway with the big, this big one here. So, all right, yeah, it's kind of <laughs> looking at the back. The back looks hella crooked, dude. So he had to he actually started it up and he drove it off the curb. So. So I guess I could have done that and it started by the way guys it started right up after a whole month So I had this uh, solar solar panel in there. Okay, and um, and yeah, it, it kept the battery topped up the whole time So I don't know why my Eclipse has a hard time keeping its charge, but this one doesn't so as long as you got a little charger on it, but So there it goes. Um, so Blackwood Ogallant VR4 is in the driveway now I can start repairing it so so meow, it's time to tell you what uh, what is going on with the insurance, okay? So um, they wanted to total this car, and I told them I'm going to keep it, okay? So I'm going to try to fix it on my own. I think it, you know, it like like the tow truck guy told me he looked at it. He's like, oh yeah, 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 you got to change all like the the bent suspension components and stuff. It looks like I can make it drivable again. I don't know what it's going to take to make it look pretty again. Um, I'm pretty sure we just take it to a body man, you know, that's, that's the best thing to do, you know. Um, as long as it doesn't start rusting, I guess it'll be okay. Um, yeah, so. But, uh, but yeah, I'm just concerned about getting it back on the road right now. So, but, uh, but yeah, that was pretty cool, man. That guy got it in the driveway, you know. And, yeah, I know it's one of the weirdest toes. Only tow like, 50 freaking feet, right, from... From over there to here so now i gotta park my eclipse over there hopefully somebody doesn't hit that you know <laughs> so yeah but uh but yeah man um so so i think i haven't got the check yet state farm is going to give me like twenty eight hundred dollars for the car okay and uh 
and they wouldn't fix it so I'm gonna have to like salvage it now so um, hopefully I can get it back up to running condition but it, as you can see it still looks like it's in pretty good shape other than the wheel is pushed up into the door okay hopefully nothing else is too badly damaged but hey whatever as long as I can get it back on the road it looks the body looks pretty good actually it doesn't look too bad um, looks like the bumper got pushed in a little bit because it looks like it's yeah looks like the whole bumper got pushed to the right so but whatever as long as I can get it to drive straight I don't really care <laughs> hopefully we can get this Black Widow Gallant Vera 4 back on the road um, that is my first time dealing with uh, with State Farm okay guys and they're like the most horrible insurance company ever dude it took a long time for for anything to happen on here they didn't they actually didn't even tow this car I'm the one that towed it I used AAA I used my AAA um, roadside emergency to tow the car okay um, it's freaking horrible man uh, I guess I could have asked State Farm if they could have called a dude to, to move it but but yeah um, what was it uh what was it um oh yeah yeah so so my idea was to go to Harbor Freight and get some some dollies put them under the wheels and then, and then somehow get somebody to help me move the car up in here okay it's it's a pain in the ass when it's all-wheel drive man I'm telling you it's hard to move a car um, rear wheel drive you can chop the whole back of the car off and you could still move it you know uh, not not rear wheel drive front wheel drive um, so yeah that's what I was saying what a pain in the ass all-wheel drive is man but there it is they got it in there um, I think the tow truck was the best option plus if I if I had bought the dollies then I would be out some money so I don't you know it's cool um, so now I can I can start taking the car apart I did want them to put it the other way you know but they said like no we can't do that um, it's, it'll be too hard to get in the driveway so uh, so yeah but it but ideally I would have wanted it the other direction but we're gonna just gonna have to work on the car like from over here so so I gotta start taking the, all the whole suspension apart and everything and see what what parts I need to replace and then just order them um, but uh, the car starts up it still runs you know um, he just cranked it like a couple times and boom it fired right up after like having not been in driven for a whole month you know and he was able to move it off the curb so yeah good stuff um, so I finally got that uh, finally got the black widow go on in the in the driveway so um, so look forward to uh, the continued uh, adventures of the Hades Omega and the uh, black widow Gallant Vera 4 because uh, this uh, my uh, my not project car just became a project car again so, <laughs> so the project is getting the car back on the road you know I, I man I it it, re it really breaks my heart that like freaking uh, I pretty much done working on this car I didn't want to do anything else other than keep it running you know keep it running in good shape and maybe maybe get a paint job on it someday um, and and then some guy just goes and just freaking totals it man and then and then the insurance just wants to take the car from me I'm like what the hell dude um, so yeah so Hades Mega will try his best to fix that problem right there and then uh, Hades Mega is not good at doing any body work so I'm gonna have to pay someone to to make this look decent <laughs> okay um, yeah looks like a lot of work Sort of, kind of. But as long as, you know, all the doors open and stuff, be okay. Okay? This We might still be able to use this, too. So, good good luck, Hades Omega. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too bad, okay? Uh, as long as we can make it drive straight again, I, I don't really care, no. So, yeah, it's gonna, it looks a little beat up now, so. But I'm trying to save this car, you know. There's not too many of these cars left on the road. They only made 2,000 of this year and 1,000 of the next year or so in the United States, so. And this one is still in good shape, like I said. Uh, and and it, even if I couldn't fix it, I could probably just part it out and get a lot of my money back, you know. And then, yeah, probably just take the shell to the junkyard and crush it, you know. But... But that, like I put a lot of work in the car, um, it would be nice to, you know, get more of my money back. So I, I could definitely get my asking price if I did sell all the parts off of this car. So, uh, but I, you know, I don't want to have like a junk car in my driveway. Okay, so hopefully we can fix this. Uh, winter's coming, so, you know, not the best time to be working on cars because it gets dark all the time. But we'll, uh, 
we'll see. Okay, so that is the uh, that was the first step uh, was to get this thing in the driveway. When when I get the when I get the stuff from State Farm, I'll, I'll let you guys know what happened, all that stuff, and then we'll start taking the car apart, see what's wrong with it, and then uh, and then we'll go from there. So. Um, so hooray, I got my car in the driveway. Um, now, now I can start taking it apart. So yeah, I didn't want to start taking stuff off, off of the car on the street, definitely. This is not a good place to work on the car um, because the car's just zooming by here. I wish I lived in like a cul-de-sac or something, you know? This is like the kind of the main street here. So just people just come zooming down here. This is not the first time someone has come by and hit like a car on the street, you know, for a dumb reason. I, 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 the good thing is, the guy that hit my car, he he reported it to insurance, so he did the right thing, okay? You crash into somebody's car, you should try to fix it, you know? But they, you know, unfortunately, State Farm didn't want to fix it. They're a bunch of douchebags, okay? So, um, I'm never going to get State Farm insurance, I'll tell you that, man. I've gotten hit by somebody that had Geico before, and they were, you know, it was much easier and faster, but it wasn't as, as bad as this, okay? So, yeah. But definitely, this is the survey card right here for uh, AAA, and I will definitely be giving them a good, totally satisfied. Yep. Okay. Man, I wish they, I wish they could freaking uh, write a little bit more neater. <laughs> See, but anyway, yeah. So there, there it is. Uh, Black Widow go on before VR4 in the driveway. So. Hopefully we can get it running again. I can't believe the battery is still all right after like so, <laughs> sit there so long too. Um, yeah, this is it's a great car, man. So um, this is supposed to be my winter car, you know. Like when I, I when it, the weather is cold and rainy, this is the best car to drive, you know. And and then I was supposed to start working on the clips again. I I did start working on the clips. I I I fixed the shifter shifter assembly and stuff. It was all messed up, so I you know fixed a bunch of stuff in it. And then I was gonna start replacing all the suspension in it because you know it's got 200,000 miles could use some new suspension and it's not driving so good so uh, but now I got to work on this now so uh, I guess we'll have to drive the Eclipse for a little bit more um, all right so so yeah there she is man they got it in the driveway exactly almost exactly how I wanted it but I think it's because that wheel is like pushed out so much that it looks like it's 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 sticking what I wanted to do was get it be to the right side of this line right here and that dude did it man if you, you just you guys just saw that dude tow, tow truck guys man they're they're the best dude i'm telling you i've been saved i've been saved by like tow truck dudes like you know a lot so it's a pretty amazing stuff that they have to deal with you know and i'm sure they've seen way worse stuff than this so <laughs> but yeah they had to use the smaller tow truck because the bigger one couldn't do it okay just too big um and it only had to move it like 50 feet so Thanks a lot, guys. Um, I'm really happy with the way you guys uh, handled that. And uh, hopefully we can get Black Widow Gallant Rear 4 up and running again. All right, here's me out. All right, guys, check this out. I know it did start, but I should center the steering wheel too. Oh yeah, the steering wheel's locked. So what the tow truck guy had to do is uh, lock the steering wheel so the the wheel doesn't move while while they're thinking. There we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this car did have a problem starting before. I think I need to change the uh, the coolant temp sensor on this. Yeah. Fires up. <laughs> 